uh, here it is. As with all things Polar Pro, the packaging is just a little bit above necessary, which I don't know why, it just kind of makes me feel good. I just realized we should probably talk about what all of this is. Polar Pro as a company started by making filters, um, like actually like this, I've got one right here. This is a Polar Pro lens filter, it goes over your camera, and they're awesome, and they sell really well. So Polar Pro has expanded now into apparel. I wasn't really sure about it at first, but everything looked really good, so yeah. Yeah, I've got a bunch of it now. Now, not all of that stuff that you just saw was for me. I bought some of it as gifts in the future for the holidays, but I did get a tech long sleeve t-shirt, their flannel shirt, and their rain shell, the, the gold floss shell. One of the things that I found interesting about the company's branding of this new Elements, I think that's what it's called, apparel line, was that it's specifically geared toward photographers. Now, I don't know how you gear clothing specifically to photographers, but that's kind of what I'm gonna look at. I mean, I do feel like if any company can do that, Polar Pro can do that. It seems kind of weird to make a video about apparel without actually wearing it though, so let's uh, crack this open. There's the tag, or print, lack thereof, you know, no tag, which is good. On the regular tee, you've just got this minimal Polar Pro branding on the sleeve, which is kind of nice, because it's just sort of a, a plain shirt for for any time, any day, but it's super soft, so let's uh, let's continue. While other me gets changed into the Polar Pro stuff, I am here to ask you to hit the like button. It like totally helps me out, and it takes two seconds. I'll give you two seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Good, thank you. I think I'm, you changed? Yeah, we're good, okay. It's weird to me describing a t-shirt because it's a it's a t-shirt, but it's a nice t-shirt. Uh, it's soft and I like the way it, it fits. I mean, like down here at the waist, it, it kind of tapers in a bit. So it's a bit more modern and it's, it's loose through here. So it's a very cool fit. But there is one thing that I noticed. So you know how they were talking about making clothes specifically for photographers and videographers. How could you do that with a t-shirt? Well, if you've ever shot outside and you don't have a cloth with you to wipe down, you use the corner of your shirt. And it looks to me like they built in a little microfiber cloth into the right side of the t-shirt so that you can stick your thumb in there loop it in and you've got this microfiber cloth to clean off the lens. It's brilliant. It's like little things where it's not like imperative, but it's that. Mm. This is the long sleeve tee. Yes, I got the same color. Don't get on me for it. It also has the little microfiber, little microfiber patch and some branding on uh, on the front of this one too, which is nice. The tag says ideal for layering. Yep. We'll get back to this. Gosh dang, this stuff is sharp. This flannel is probably, yeah, I think this is my favorite one. Man, it's just sharp. Practical things are nice too. It has zipper pockets on both sides, which if you lose things, all the time, like I do, that's amazing. That's super important, because I mean, a lot of times, sometimes even my, the pockets on my pants are a little bit too, like too shallow. So when I sit down in the car, everything just slides out and goes into the Bermuda Triangle of death in between your seat and the, you know what I'm talking about. You got zipper pockets on the side. You've got a zipper pocket up top here, which is, it's just good. The flannel has these good brass buttons and they're really high quality. They hold, just like this material. I feel like I could I could go into the woods and chop down a tree wearing this. It's just not, it's not checkered. Like if it was checkered, I'd chop down a tree, but since it's not, I'll take pictures of the tree. It is nice and warm too. Like this is the sort of thing in winter where you would normally wear a, a sweatshirt. You can just wear this flannel jacket and it, um, it'll keep you warm. I mean, I'm under huge lights right now, but 
trust me, it, it makes a noticeable difference when you, when you throw this baby on. The most important thing though, do I look more like a photographer? No. Like, do I have an aura? Do I, do I have a photography aura? They've also made a puffy jacket and a fleece jacket. And if you're looking for those, I hate to tell you, but I didn't pick them up. They're not really my style. Sorry. Let's talk about this rain shell because it's one of their most expensive items, but I think it's also one of the most interesting. Right off the bat, you'll notice that this is like a bright yellow, which not everybody would like in fashion, but a lot of photographers like it because it makes you stand out from your surroundings. Basically, Polar Pro is leaning into the whole photography thing. Like, if you're a photographer and you want a bright yellow jacket, it'll look good in your photos. Like, it will. It's proven. So that's what they did. And they also made a red one, which is cool. Off the bat, it's very light, which is good. Obviously, rainproof. It's a rain shell. Let's go for this uh, front zipper here. Pulls nicely, and would you believe it? Ta-da! Okay, so I knew this would be in there. I saw it on the website, but it's also just really cool. This is actually, looks like, yeah, it's sewn in with this bungee material. So you've always got a lens wipe, a lens cloth. It's in this pocket. And of course, like if it, you crumple it up, it doesn't take up much space. You can still stick a bunch of other stuff in here, but like, it's the little touches. It's the little touches. And yeah, this makes this not just a rain cover, but a photography rain cover. Down here, we've just got some regular pockets, okay? Big pockets, which is good. They're pockets. On the side, you've got something interesting. It's another pocket, but it just kinda keeps, keeps going. And it goes through the whole thing into the inside compartment. Now, why is this good? Well, listen, I'm not positive, but here's what I'm thinking. If you're out shooting photos on a windy, stormy, kind of cloudy day like it is today, and the rain's holding off, and then it doesn't hold off, and it starts to get really loud like it is right now, camera, I mean, it's not waterproof, so what do you do? Usually, you'll just stick it right up underneath your rain cover, because this will keep it dry, but it's kind of awkward to try to Hold it like this and I don't know, I don't like it at all. So all you do, boom, now you're just holding it in the side and you don't have to worry about like pulling your shirt up or doing any of that weird stuff. That's what I think it's for. I'm not sure. These zippers also would allow you to access your inside pockets. They're a little bit far back, it's maybe a little bit awkward, but I like it. You could also just be weird and like stick your arms through there and take photos like this. It's kind of creepy though. Down below, let me know what you think the purpose of these side zippers is. Now, this apparel is not cheap by any definition, all right? Um, we're photographers, so we're used to paying premiums on stuff. We're used to paying higher prices. Cameras are ridiculously expensive. So, Polar Pro knows their market audience, their, their market demographic, and it shows in the price of these items. Like the rain shell or the flannels, these things are a little bit more expensive, but they're also kind of on par with other rain shells and other flannels, at least on the, you know, more high-end stuff. Like, I think this is still cheaper than like a Patagonia one. But stuff like the t-shirts and the long sleeve shirts, those are more on the premium side. They're really good, they're high quality, so they're worth what you pay for them, but that's a little bit larger of a leap for most people, is to pay a premium price for something like a t-shirt, as opposed to something like a high quality rain shell or flannel jacket. You know what I mean? I'm thinking though that the best thing I can do for you, as far as a review goes, is say, yes, it's all high quality, you don't need to worry about that, because it's kind of hard when you're ordering something online, you're not able to actually feel it in the store, and you can always return it, but that's a pain in the butt. They have sizing charts, so you don't need to worry about sizing. You can go take your own measurements and try that out. This is all good stuff. My favorite piece is the flannel because it's a cool in-between. It's not like some sort of spring rain jacket, so it's kind of like, it's stylish, but at the same time, it's warm and it's practical, so you can wear it in the winter, you can wear it in the spring. And then, if you get the rain to go on top of it, all you have to do, wear this, if it starts to rain, throw on the rain shell, 
and you are all prepared. You're ready. I just think, I just think the flannel looks really good. So in the end, two thumbs up for Polar Pro's new uh, apparel line. I was, I was not worried about it, but I was a little bit skeptical. And they pulled through, like they always do. You guys are amazing. Polar Pro's awesome. It's just, they just kind of shock me every time. Like they, they don't really miss. They don't really miss. So if you buy this, you're not gonna miss. You might miss your money, but you're not, I mean, you're gonna walk down the street and be like, look at that flannel. You guys though, you're awesome too. I'm talking to you now, not Polar Pro, I'm talking to you. You're sweet, you're awesome, you're an amazing human being. So remember that. Come back to the next video, comment down below on this one that you, you just say like, I'm an amazing human being. Cause that'll make my day feel better. If you know, if you know that you're awesome. Almost as awesome as Polar Pro. I feel like I should reiterate again that this wasn't sponsored. I just like Polar Pro. They're not paying me. They're not paying me to do this. I'm not Peter McKinnon.